After all, there's only one Warren Buffett. Treating her patients is just the first step. But then Dr. Thompson goes a step further. Let's look it up on GoodRx. She helps them find the best prices with GoodRx. I didn't know you could get discounts on prescriptions. Yeah, see? And it works at my pharmacy? Yes, it does. Now that's caring. Oh, yes, do. Okay, I got it, I got it. Thank you. You're good with GoodRx. A lot can happen with a simple Tell your story, get people excited. To get connected, to share, and sell anywhere, just, and start making a different future. Start different at GoDaddy.com. I'd really love to start a coffee shop staffed by adults with special needs. The disability population is, is so underserved. Because I'm making their day, and I love making their coffee, and it's fun. It is Wednesday, April 28th, a.k.a. Hump Day, and I am Tabitha Lipkin. You are watching NBCLX, and nothing totally surprising here, but still some major news coming out of the CDC, giving a lot more freedom to those who have received their shots. Now, if you're fully vaccinated, you can gather safely outdoors without a mask, that is, in small groups. And for most indoor activities, you're safe for those who are fully vaccinated, but you still need to wear your mask. So the new guidance brings us at least one step closer to reopening the country and getting us back to some sense of normalcy. So let's go ahead and look into what the CDC is saying so far. Outdoor activities, they're safe without masks, regardless of whether a person is vaccinated, as long as people are either alone or with immediate family members. And fully vaccinated people, those who are about two weeks out from their last vaccine dose, can gather safely outdoors without a mask in small groups. Now there is a lot of information here, so let's go ahead and break it down in a few real life scenarios. So let's say that you wanna go on a hike with a fam or maybe take a train or do a, a 10K at a park alone. Well, this is considered the safest, that is training for a 10K for both unvaccinated and fully vaccinated individuals. Okay, you see it's green because it's safest. So let's say that your crew is hanging out on a patio at home and you know everyone is fully vaccinated. That is also safe for both unvaccinated and vaccinated individuals. But let's say that there are a few people that you don't know if they have gotten the vaccine. Well, then you might want to go ahead and mask up and take preventative measures. OK, next up, dining outside. If it's Friday night and you're craving some sushi and the weather is great, you can find a table outside. This is totally safe for those of you who have been vaccinated. But if you still haven't gotten your shot, well, then you might want to go ahead and take those preventative measures, such as wearing a mask, staying six feet apart and washing your hands. This is the yellow area. And finally, let's say that it's the 4th of July and your city is hosting a parade of some sort, some sort of big gathering. It is considered safe for fully vaccinated people. However, the CDC does encourage you to wear a mask because in a large crowd of people you're not totally familiar with, you don't know who or who hasn't gotten their shot. So you might want to skip out on the event because the CDC says that it is the least safe. There are a lot of scenarios here. And the guidance cannot account for every single person, which means that you still have to use common sense when deciding whether to attend an outdoor event and when to wear your mask. President Joe Biden is using the new guidelines, urging people, especially young individuals, to get vaccinated if they haven't already done so.